more was never enough. I'm 86 years old, and sadly, I'm basically sitting on my deathbed. I have millions of dollars in the bank, but I can't buy health to save my life now. I have family and millions of fans around the world, but I'm all alone now. Not even my children or a long estranged wife or brother stand around my deathbed. I live my life wrong, and I don't want this to happen to you. If you listen and take evasive action, I can help you change your future. The following few moments may very well change your life. And I wish someone had told me this when I was your age. Money is not evil by itself. It's just paper with perceived value to obtain other things we value in other ways. If not money, what is evil, you may ask? Evil is the unquenchable, obsessive, and moral-bending desire for more. Evil is the bottomless, soulless, and obsessive-compulsive pursuit of some pot of gold at the end of some rainbow which doesn't exist. Evil is having a price tag for your heart and soul in exchange for financial success at any cost. Evil is trying to buy happiness again and again until all of those fake, short-lived mirages of emotions are gone. Imagine having it all, only to lose it all. You are now broke. All the money is gone. What do you have? The only solution to your madness and happiness was acquiring more. Now you have no more means to acquire fake happiness. No more means to acquire more. So, who are you now? Where are all the people now who you thought were your friends while the money was flowing in? You might have lost your family, friends, and mostly everyone in the world thinks you are a self-centered, egotistical asshole. Why? Because of your endless pursuit for more, clouded your mind and diverted you from your true purpose in life. Does this hit an emotional chord in you? Did it depress or sadden you? I almost said good, but I will say this only because I want you to change. I'm not saying you can't be financially successful. I'm saying have a greater purpose in life, well beyond the pursuit of financial success. Your soul is screaming for you to answer your true calling. You can change today if you redefine what success is to you. You can transform your damaged relationships and build new ones. You can forgive yourself and others who've hurt you. You can become a leader by mentoring with others who you aspire to be like. You can rebalance your priorities in life. You can heal your marriage and recreate a stronger love than you ever thought possible. You can become the best parent possible at any age, even 86. But don't wait until then. You'll always be able to make more money. But you cannot make more time. One day, just like me, you'll die too. What do you want to be remembered for? What can you do for others to make the world a better place? What is your true purpose on this earth? We are all dying, but only a small select few are truly living. You can step out of the shadows, into the light. You are meant for greatness. You are meant for more than just what you do for a living. You are an eternal being, meant to inspire and help the world. Let's get it right once and for all in this lifetime. Today, you step into the world where true love exists. And you finally realize that love, in fact, is the more you've wanted your whole life. Just love more and more, every day in every way, and never give up, regardless of how challenging your destiny in life will be. The world really needs you now more than ever, together with love, compassion, forgiveness and faith in humanity. We will defeat evil.
once and for all.